Hey everybody, welcome back to Ripping for Ripkins. It's Corey, and today I'm bringing you a hobby box of Pacific Paramount, the inaugural 1988, or 1998, I'm sorry, uh, issue. This was the first year of this. So this is a set that if you build players on your trading card database, this is something you probably are missing some cards on. This is why I'm opening this. It has a lot of my PC guys and a lot of cards I am missing. But as you can see right there, the uh, odds, the set is a 250 card set. You get a golden copper out of each pack. The blue, one in 73, so we may or may not get that in this. Every 99 sets has a serial numbered silver parallel in this box. Die cut, one, uh, two in 37, so potentially we should get one of those team checklist die cuts. Special delivery die cut, we'll have to get a little bit more fortunate because that's 1 in 37. And then, of course, the odds get worse. Uh, Cooperstown bound, 1 in 361. That is a going to be a tough one to pull. And then the serial number Pacific proofs, 1 in every 20 sets. So we'll have to get really lucky on that one. But you'll see the design right there on the front. Some nice designs. I'm going to cut this right down the side and we're going to get inside and see what we have in store. This is a set that I was pretty excited to open. It is stuck to the back. But let's see what we have in store. I don't know if I can set this up. Hobby. Yeah, I can. There we go, look at that. So just like the card shop, we'll fold these out and we're looking for our Ripkins, our Messinas. And again, there's six cards per pack right there. Once again, the odds are on there. You get a Pacific point. I don't know what that is for, but I'm sure if you went to that web address, you could, back in 1998, you could put that in. But let's get, Let's get our first look at these cards and see if we can pull us a couple short prints and maybe find you guys some PC guys for yourself. There's going to be a little bit of stickiness to these. There is your, mm, I don't know if that's gold or copper right off the bat. And there we go. Trying to see the name on the front. Sean Estes. I'm going to set that off to the side because I don't know if that's gold or copper. i got to find out. But these are your base cards right here. Wilton Guerrero. Oral Hershiser with the Giants. I don't even remember him pitching with the Giants. And Dan Wilson. So I'm guessing that that was our gold and Tony Gwynn is the last card but it looks like to me I'm missing one there we go and there is a different that has red inside of his name Steve what the heck is his name I don't even know this guy huh but that does have a different look to it as well. So maybe those two are our inserts. So let's just start ripping them and then we will figure this out as we go along. 1998, not a big rookie crop in this set. So this looks like it's gonna be our gold. Todd Jones will be on the top. So that is not gonna be a copper. That is gonna be a gold. And I'm guessing they'll be fairly obvious when they are copper. There's a Doug Landville. Again, some stickiness, but not too bad. Brian McRae. Hideki Arabu. No longer with us. And Derek Jeter. So there's a nice Jeter. Pacific Paramount. I'll set him off to the side. I know some people that keep Jeter cards. 
definitely have some Yankee fans here. So it's going to go a little longer than I originally planned because the stickiness of the card. And Mark Grace on the back. Shout out to Jason Easterling. He will be receiving that card. Roberto Kelly is the gold. We'll set him up there with the rest of the golds. Greg Vaughn. And you see there was some paper loss on Greg Vaughn, so there was some stickiness. Hmm. A little bit more than normal on this pack. Todd Helton. Oh, Cecil Fielder. Mike Hampton. One of the he had one of the biggest contracts back then when he went to the Rockies. And there is Mark Grace. Very nice Mark Grace card. Like I said, these are tough to come by. It's hard to find them online anywhere. I just got lucky one night, late night scrolling and found these and I had a bunch of guys that I needed for my collection. And I'm hoping I get a gold card of one of these guys that I collect. Francisco Cordero. Travis Lee. Very tough to read the names on these. Looks like Abraham Nunez there. A-Rod. There is a nice A-Rod. I haven't seen him yet. And the Pudge Rodriguez as well. So nice a -roid card. Pretty good shape too. The corners are pretty sharp. It's like a little bit of paper loss on the back. So the stickiness is a problem in these packs. So I may have to find one of my guys and possibly use the hair dryer on him because I think the hair dryer would work fine. There's Todd Helton. Gary Gaetti is on the back of Todd Helton. Not going to take the time to peel him. Edgar Martinez. So we are getting some Hall of Famers out of here. And the nice Barry Bonds. No paper loss on the Bonds. That was a nice card. So definitely we'll have a few that I can send off to people. I said, this box is strictly for pulling cards that I collect out of it. And I think a lot of people, oh, case hit right there. Raul Mondesi, nice. Lance Johnson. And this one is bricked up pretty good. I don't want to ruin my Mondesi. Chris Holt. That's a little bit easier. Pedro Astacio. Sandy Alomar Jr. Now, he managed this last year. And there is the Raul Mondesi for the collection right there. If you guys are new to the channel, my alter ego is mining for Mondesi. A lot of people like to make fun of that. Every break with the passes alive, it seemed like I get a Raul Mondesi card. There's Bobby Bonilla on the back. Todd Jones again on the front. Second Todd Jones gold card. Oh, man. And he is on the Lance Johnson again. Wilson. Oh. 
looks like Alvarez, but I couldn't tell. Yeah, it still looks like Alvarez. Wilson Alvarez came up with the Cubbies, threw a no-hitter against the Orioles. Terry Steinbach, former A's and Twins player. He was, of course, part of the A's back in the early 90s when they were on their run. Or 86 to 96. B.J. Serhoff, another Oriole, former Milwaukee Brewer, big-time prospect. And Bobby Bo. So no key, like, die cuts or anything, but we're just getting started. Really hoping we find one of these nice numbered die cut cards. And hopefully it does not stick. I don't think it will because of the design of this Bobby Bonilla on the back Chris Holt on the front this is give me some repeats here Todd Stottlemyre of course the Stottlemyres are big time into the coaching there's Wilson Alvarez again and Terry Steinbach again BJ Serhoff again Bobby Bonilla again. First release, I guess they did not do a good job of sorting out the cards. Here's a Roger Clemens in his Toronto Blue Jays. This, of course, right before he went to the Yankees, spent his entire career in the, National, or the American League East. There is a nice Paul Molitor gold. So we will keep that off to the side. Doug Jones. Luckily, the gold cards are the first cards, so they don't suffer any paper loss. Almost dropped Doug Jones. Kevin Brown. Former piece of stud with the Texas Rangers for a few years. There is a Fernando Tatis. Senior, of course. Mark Bellhorn. And there is the Clemens with the Blue Jays. So now we're getting down to where we should start finding us our hits. No ma on the back. And Richie, no, no, Paul Sorrento. I thought it was Richie Sexton. He's right handed. Both big, tall, lanky power hitters. Desi Relliford. That's a name I had forgotten. Lots of shine. Ricky Henderson, back with the Oakland A's. Was his second stint with the A's in 98. Oakland, New York. Oakland, San Diego. This is the third stint with the A's. Nice Ricky Henderson. John Olerud, one of the best defensive first basemen back in the, he could pick it. Steve Avery. And there is the Nomar Garcia Parra. Longtime Red Sox, and this was his, what, second, third year. Nice Nomar. So this will be about a 30 minute video right here. Jose Valentin Gold. Makes me cringe when I hear that. Royce Clayton. Kevin Stalker. Back with the Devil Rays, not the Rays as they are now known. Jason McDonald, Brad Radke, and there is the Dante Bichette, Bo Bichette's daddy. So we got the Tatis and the Bichette. We're keeping it 2020 for you. 
combining the old with the new. Let's see who our gold card is. Ray Langford. Carlos Perez, Geronimo Barroa, there is the chipper, my first PC hit, and I peeled him off, so my PC hit has some paper loss, unfortunately, if I'd have known he was on the back, I would have probably Taking the hair dryer to him, but I didn't see that. There's a Paul O'Neill on the back. John Wetland, who deserves paper lost. He was not a good dude right there. Wade Boggs, gold. That's a nice one. Got it off with no paper loss. Nice. And there is our first insert. This is a blue. And this will be going off to my buddy Classic Cards. And Platinum Blue Parallel 1 in 73. Let's see if this is... Tino Martinez, Pat Mears, Chuck Knobloch on the back, there's a card in between it, okay, now let's see if I can get this off of here, there it is, so that is our die cut team checklist. Tim Salmon, and it has no paper loss. It's a very cool card right there, so that'll go off to Classic Cards. One of the reasons I'm opening this box. So I can send off some of these cards to guys and return some favors that they have sent me over the last year. Juan Gonzalez is on the back. Miguel Cairo is the gold card. Rod Beck with his big handlebar mustache right there. Rod Beck. Frank the Tank is a Rod Beck fan. Levon Hernandez. Oh, man. We're going to get some paper loss on this one. Mike Lieberthal, former like number two pick, I believe he was. He's definitely a top three pick. Randy Johnson. Let's see if I can salvage the Randy Johnson, really. A little bit of paper loss on Randy Johnson. And there is the Juan Gonzalez. So we did get one little hit out of here so far. I'd like to see how many we can pull out of this box. There's another Bonds, a chance for a redemption on the back of that one. And there is Jose Vidro, gold. Doug Jones is stuck to the back of him. Got him separated. No real paper loss there. Todd Helton. Gary Gaetti. Edgar again. And there is the Bonds. A little bit of paper loss on Bonds that time. Let's see if we can find something in here. Barry Bonds. We haven't seen him in a while. Rob Nen. Gold card. Frank the Tank. Let's see if I can get this off. time with that one. Rob Nin gold card. Very nice. Not 
another Todd Helton, another Gary Gaetti, another Edgar Martinez, another Barry Bonds. So maybe one of the Bonds I can keep it won't be in too bad a shape. Again, with the 1998 Pacific Paramount. If you do collect certain players and you go through your TCB, well, this training card database, you just go there, tcdb.com, and check out that. There's a Todd Helton gold card. First time seeing that. So we are Jeff Montgomery. And we got... Pry that out of there. Rob Nen base card. Let's see if I can salvage the Rob Nen card. There we go. Kevin Young and a back card is. Sheffield took a little bit of paper loss with the Sheffield that last card is not going to be an easy one that's why I have to pay attention to it because I will have to use my hair dryer to get that off of there without suffering any paper loss Jim Edmonds is on the back of this one the gold card is the John Franco Otis Nixon And we just got to hope none of my PC guys are in the middle of these packs. Charles Nagy. Good pitcher. Jim Edmonds. Otis Nixon. And Lenny Harris. So not a bad pack as far as names go. But we have something right here stuck to this one. It's a die cut. Oh, oh, it's a die cut, and it's a good one. Dang it. Check this monster out. The Cal Ripken Pacific Paramount. What is this card? Hold on. That is a sick card right there. Is that special delivery die cut? That's exactly what that is. One in 37. So, one in 37 packs, and we got a Ripken. And it is a nice looking Ripken, too. And I did not have this one. That is the special delivery right there. That is sick. Let me, let me put him in the penny sleeve right now. And this die cut is going to be a challenge to get in there. Because of the jagged edges on this thing. Take it off the screen. There we go. These things are not easy to get into a penny sleeve. Down to my last little notch right here. Get in there. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Nice Ripken. Put him into the top loader. And there we go. Special delivery die cut. Very sweet. So let me go ahead and put that up there. Put that in the back. 
Let's put it on the screen right there. Definitely the hit of the box so far. And also the reason I purchased this box, I apologize for taking my time, but aside from being a video, it is also a personal rip for me. Does this say Mark Grizzle on it? Yeah. It is very tough to read these names. Rob Nin again. Hopefully I can pick one nice one out to send to Frank. Hmm. There's another Sheffield. But I am not that worried with the with the base cards and the non-big names. Like I said, these this is not something I was doing to hopefully pull a card to fit into the just my collection and then possibly some nice cards to send off to some guys. Todd Walker. Bip Roberts. Charles Johnson, former USA baseball member, Chuck Finley, the original Chuck Nasty, and Jay Buhner. So we did get one good hit. I'm expecting to get another one. I said the gold cards. If I could get a PC gold card, I'd be pretty stoked about that too. But I haven't even seen, aside from Chipper, I haven't seen a base card of my guys yet. Jeff Kent, gold card. Maybe, potentially, a future Hall of Famer, Jeff Kent. He was not a media favorite, so I don't know how that's going to work. Maybe as the, the older... Guard moves out. He may get some more time. Tom Candiani. John Jaha. Big prospect at one point. Maglio Ordonez. And that may be his rookie card. I think that is his rookie card. Hold that aside. And 10 Salmon is the back card. Another one for Eric over there at Classic Cards. Let's see, the gold card is Ricky Batalico. John Smoltz, Ozzy Gian with the O's. He did not play with the O's very long. Of course, White Sox manager. A little further down the road. Shane Reynolds, Jose, or no, John Valentin, and Craig Biggio finishes that off. So let's get a couple packs going here. Apologize for the length of the video. There's a Ryan Klesko on the back. We're gonna rip a few of these now. And this is Ryan Klesko on the back. At this point, I'm searching for that gold card on the front. Maybe one more cool insert in this box. So the box only has to produce, oh my, look at this. It's crazy. Ripkin gold, baby. Gotta keep ripping them. Cause I probably will not peel that off. I will probably take that down to the hair dryer. Let's get that. Let's get that Ripken up here. 
Pat Hinkins on the back. Let's see if we can peel from the back to the front. Jose Vidro. Andrew Jones. That was his third year. I guess this would be a second year card, 1998. Wade Boggs, the chicken man. One of the best hitters ever. Him and Tony Gwynn, especially in my generation. Stan Javier. Is he connected to Ripken? He is connected to Ripken. I'm going to save that. We're going to try to get that off with no paper loss. So, second nice cow out of the box. I still need a base card for Cal. Another pack, Hinkin. Jose Vidro. Where have we seen this before? Let's go back to the front now. Alex Gonzalez. Wade Boggs. Andrew Jones. And that's the Jose Vidro card. So nobody in there. This is Darren Erstad, longtime angel. If I peel that off successfully, that'll probably go off to Eric as well. Oh, sick. Another PC hit. Chipper Jones. My second blue. That is nice right there. That is this blue team checklist. And again, the checklist odds were team checklist die cut two and 37. So that would be the second one we're going to get. So that's a pretty nice one for me. I get the, I get the chipper and a couple cows. So I had definitely accomplished a little bit out of this, what I was hoping. Definitely wanted to be able to pick up some of these cars. Yeah, I could probably buy them, but to pull them straight out of a box, pretty cool. These die cuts are not easy to get in there, so. Nice Chipper Jones to go along with my cow. Get back to showing you guys the rest of this pack. Ryan Klesko. Steve Finley. And can't read his name upside down. Justin Thompson. Let's get that out of the way. And last pack that I had already opened. Levon Hernandez, which may be that was his early career too. That's the second year, Levon Hernandez. Alex Gonzalez. Miguel Cairo. Steve Finley. The back card was Ryan Klesko. And there was one more card. It was Justin Thompson again stuck to that. So we're not going to worry with that. Let's hold that cow right there. Take the rest of these out of the box. We still have quite a few packs left. So, so far, so good. I'm still needing some Messina. The line of the shields. I haven't seen any of his cards either. Apologize for that. Stan Javier, gold. This has got some dings on the corners. So, Derek Bell. We're hoping that we don't have anything too nice in here because of that ding corner. Jeff Reed. Mark Grizzolanic. And the last card was Jim Tomei, who did have some edge damage right there. But your opening box is from 1998. You're going to have some, you're going to come across some of this. It's, got, it's going to take a little bit of luck. Especially with the sticking. Edgar Renteria is on the back. And that was his third year card. Greg Jeffries with the Phillies. Big time prospect right there. Fernando Vina. 
who Albert Bell absolutely leveled one time at second base. It's a video you need to check out. Roberto Kelly. Albert Bell was not a nice dude. He was quite a mean guy. Also got hit by a pitch and refused to take a base. I remember that too. Eric Karos, former Rookie of the Year. When the Dodgers were on their run of Rookie of the Years. Darren Erstad again. And there is the Red Renteria. So let's, let's rip a couple again. That seemed to go pretty well. We got a cow and a chipper when I did that last time. Got a Manny Ramirez. First time seeing Manny. Kevin Apiers on the front of that one. Let's see if I can't go ahead and rip the rest of this box. Pudge Rodriguez is back on the back. Carlos Baerga is on the front. No longer with the Indians. He is now with the Mets in 1998. There is the Tom Glavin Hall of Famer and Al Martin on the front. Bernie Williams. John Burkett. Jim Tomei yet again on the back. So you get a chance to redeem our Tomei at some point here. Jarrett Wright. That should be his rookie year, I think. Jarrett Wright was a fireballer when the Indians were making their playoff run back in the late 90s. That's his second year. His rookie year was, he pitched in 97. Okay, let's see what we got in these packs here. Greg Jeffries base. Paul Sorrento. Jeff Reed again. Mark Grzelanek again, Jim Tomei, John Burkett, or Burkett, can't read this guy's name, J.P. Santanzalo, Todd Dunwoody, J.T. Snow, Omar Vizquel, possibly another Hall of Famer. And he is stuck to Bernie Williams very clean. So that means he is going to suffer some paper loss as well. I do seem to have a die cut card in here. And I have some damage. So I got back to back golds. Or is that a copper? No. Jeff Brantley, that's weird two golds in that pack and I do have another die cut it is the Tony Clark it's Tony Clark of the Players Association now team checklist Tony Clark so that's a nice card maybe some Tigers fan would like Carlos Bayerga Jeff Facero Travis Lee, Abraham Nunez, A Rod again. Keep that A Rod off to the side. And Pudge Rodriguez again. So I will definitely have to do some sorting when I'm done with this one. There's the Manny who came right off the back. That's pretty cool. Nice Manny Ramirez. Kevin Apier. John Franco.
Matt Williams. First time seeing Matt Williams. There's another Frank the Tank card. Hopefully I can remove that without much paper loss right there. Nice Matty Williams. Little bit of paper loss on the back. Carlos Baerga and Bobby Higginson finishes that one off. So last three packs. Like I said, I I am pretty pretty happy with the box, but not one single Messina or Delano the Shields card yet. We'll go ahead and rip these final three packs. And uh, Wilbert Guerrero or Wilton Guerrero. I thought it was a Delano the Shields when I first saw it. But I think Delano was with the Cardinals. Oh, we got an A-Rod Gold right there. I think Delano was with the Cardinals in 98. Maybe with the Orioles. It was right about that time frame. He went from the Cardinals to the Orioles. And there's Tom Glavin with J.T. Snow on the front. So we'll go ahead and see if we can't go through here. John Burkett, paper loss. Here's Marquise Grissom. First time seeing Grissom, former teammate of the Line of the Shields. Come on. Jeff Cirillo. And there's the Ripken. No paper loss on that one. No, we're not going to peel it. We're going to take that one and get the hair dryer on that one also. It's a good Ripken box. Got three cards of his. There is the A-Rod Gold. That one, I'm going to try to salvage as well. We'll pull from the back. Tom Glavin. We got another Ripken. Are you serious? Dang it, man. Okay, we're doing that one at the hair dryer too. All right, last pack. Wilton Guerrero. Ruben Rivera. This one also has some some damage on the side, so doesn't matter about the front of it. Ron Gant. Jarrett Wright. Who we just saw on a gold card. And Frank Thomas. Who did not suffer any paper loss, but he did have that unfortunate ding right there. So Frank Thomas, you don't see very much. But that is it for the break. I know that was painful for you guys. I'm gonna take that to the take these down to the hair dryer and try to get these off without any paper loss. But we did get a couple nice hits right there and the PC is ever growing and it was fun at least going through these and, and you know what to expect now if you see these boxes you can expect some sticking so if you survived this whole video I appreciate you being here and appreciate you watching and until next time later guys